Good evening, I'm back with more Uncharted. Sorry about earlier. Forgot I hadn't done some stuff, so I've quickly done that now. Let's get into it. Turn the aircon back on because it's getting a bit muggy. All men dream, but not equally. <coughs> Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Mm. to the pub. Up. He's almost bald, but not quite. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. You're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh, see the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. <coughs> I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver, 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a $3 bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. The deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. <laughs> now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Come on, you can't. You can't. This one's mine! Let's 
this? Hey there, big fella. Oh shit. Very big fella. Quick, hit him! Not bad idea, right now. Damn it! Get him! Give me a second there, mate. I'll be right with you. Surprised they knock some teeth out. You okay in there? You hurt? Just my pride. They're gonna need a plunger. Come on. Let's go, Nate. Here. And get out the back. Okay, the door of treasures on this one. Funny, I can actually see the shape in this. You look like shit. Oh, <laughs> and smell like it. Yeah, well, I fell into a urinal, so... Stop him! I've got the old geezer! How's that? Ready to go, kid? Yeah. Let's go. Shiny? No, no shiny. Oops. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, yeah, come here. Oh. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. He's had enough, haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, oh just realized I haven't got my camera going. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. Sorry about that. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this. Don't you? 
cheating death? Or not? No. <sighs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh no. Oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. What? Shit. What now? Flashback. Jesus. Here we go. Hmm. Oh. Huh. That's not it. Hmm. It's always a good drawer. Hmm. I saw a shine just now. <laughs> Who just leaves a friggin' process ring in a bloody cannon? It's a maritime museum. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's gotta be in one of these cases. Museo cierra en 15 minutos. Not here.
It's like a megalodon. Hmm. Hmm. No, that's not it either. Whoa. Huh. That's not it either. Hmm. Oh, that's not it. Okay, I precisely where I'm supposed to go. So before I do that. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, I know. Here it is. Before I do that, I'm trying to fish around here. That looks weird. It looks very familiar. <laughs> very young Sully. Well, not very young, but young Sully. Did he not pay you to get in or something? Quédate afuera. Pendejo. Oh, there he is. Boom. Oh, Colombia. I gotta keep up with him. Ah, there he is. If I do. <laughs> it was rotten anyway. Ah, now where did he go? Tanto pelado. 
Not going down there. I saw something shiny. It's not this way, is it? No. Okay. It's the way I thought it was. I could have sworn there was a shiny. Where is he going? And for doll. It's funny the elbow blocked some of it. Alicia. Looks like he's going upstairs. What's he doing in there? I need to get a better look. I don't want to rush your pal, but can yeah. you move along? Yeah, I can't that. Just gonna have to get a lady with you. Get out of here, sir. It's getting a cake cut. Aquí lo tiene. Adios, amigo. Okay. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way.
heading through that building. I bet I can spot him from the roof. A shiny or a brick and sign. Oh, who's your friend? Find a way to get that wallet. Right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. Oh. This is this way then. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. The technique is really sloppy, though. You telegraph in all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. <sighs> Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Closed. 
probably would have made sure there was no bloody shinies on that roof. There it is. Ah, oh, that was close. Let's see how I get back on. Okay. Is that before? Is that there or so? Whoa. Oh, damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast off little beggar. You're Fuck not you, lady. To touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Stop that boy! Holy crap! He has 
the ring! Break the door down! Oh god. He's heading for the roof! Break it! Hurry! Let go! Ugh. Shit! Oh, crap! Who the hell are these guys? She's not good. Shaking for just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Okay, kid. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, 
You're a crook, right? You gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister, no offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis? Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so like a boarding school. <laughs> That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. You look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well. Anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm fired. <laughs> you think? Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we... Uh, Try this again. My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. They're gone. All right, lads? <laughs> oh, God. Bet you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. All that racket's going to bring the what, cops in. What, were vests? Get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You head-butted me. 
Oh, <laughs> right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Yeah. You were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on his good side. All right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? We finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? <laughs> Let's get moving. Well, hurry it up, Nate. Shit. The filth. This way. Filth. But they were called the fuzz. Come on. Really? Come on, Charlie. What's the holdup? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, it'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. It's claustrophobic. Soon. That's, that's right. That's it. That's all. Oh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm fine. Pretty obvious. I'm gonna study horse bridge. 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 That's blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. Oh, there's a thought. The wall's too high. Here, let's move this thing over there. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Thanks for the help. Yeah, help or shut Come up. On. Move your lazy asses. Alright. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Oh, fancy right, that. Alan. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> well, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? Nah, <sighs> easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door scary pop inside him behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in and we sneak up. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Oh. Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're on to. Yeah, well, at my age, it's a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Quiet. You think they're still in there? Well, we're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. Well, we can't afford to waste time standing here. I'll find a way in and check it out. You three stay here. Got it. Chinese. Looks like that. It holds your weight. Oh, Jesus. Blitzed. You're right up there. Yeah. It's 
Sorry about that. Empty? Wait a minute, where did it go? Hey, it's shiny. pretty Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. It's gonna be something up here. Yep. It's like there's no bloody way they did all that. Anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. Are you sure this is the right one? Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Uh, Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. <laughs> we were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. It's like a stick arm gun. Looks like the car it's turned here. Oh. Hey, check this out. Come on, you're supposed to be the smart one. What are we missing? Kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You two, like there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And? Well, this has got to be it. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. <laughs> well, 
Abracadabra. Cadabra. Um, I'm hey, sorry, but we I think with? I just found it again. Well, there's only one way to find out. Well, found out where we'll I track the where car. it went. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side. All right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Pleasure? <laughs> My pleasure. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. <laughs> Looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. Alrighty, boys. Balls. It's a dead end. Well, we'll just have to find a way around. Hey, over here. It's locked. Not for long. Come on. Yeah. It's an old tunnels and the middle of England going through old service tunnels that have been there for hundreds of years. Lay on. It's lay on McDuff. Can we hurry it along, please, mate? Alright, back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just just not keen on the old tight spaces, that's all. Alright, just keep moving. Oh, thank God for that. Who the hell is McDuff? Is there no bottom to your heels? Yeah, it was a pretty big rat. I have heard two hours being called farm rats, so. Oh, God. You know what? I've actually got a. In the US, could totally be a thing. Really, there are a number of places where the city just sank and they built on top of it. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Probably going to do that with Florida if it doesn't go underwater completely. Um, I actually have to go AFK for a little bit because I have to quickly. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the regular lack of regulation won't help either. Yeah, probably all the swamp. Wetlands. Pretty much where, where I am in Melbourne, this used to be like wetlands, but not anymore. Anyway, um, I gotta quickly hang up the washing, so I will be back in a few.
Okay, I'm back. Right below us. At least we're hey, there's right. a rat. Oh, that is a long way down. Next to wonder how they got down. Careful, it's slippery. Is there like a Elevator of some sort, or what? <coughs> also, what's that for, anyway? It's like a wind tunnel. It's just a ventilation shaft, maybe. He's here! What the hell's wrong with you? Quit screwing around. There you go. I was gonna try and stealth him. There's a passage up there. And a ladder. <coughs> yeah. Looks like it's jammed though. Let me see if I can loosen it. Look out. Here it comes. Looks like there's some sort of gate it. up there. We went down and then up again, but they just went. <laughs> I'm missing it like I was saying, singing that song. We get knocked down, bring it up again. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh. Pell Diamond and Ruby Brooch. Nice. Didn't want to be the person that lost that. How about you, cut her a little help, yeah? Sure, gotcha. <laughs> All right, ready? Pull. Got it. Okay, Charlie, come on. The tunnel again. That's too far to drop there. We'll break our damn necks. Is it the same rat every time, or is it multiple rats? Down here. Wait. Now? Damn it. There's probably a treasure up there. I thought that was gonna be. This was gonna be the. Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate. But whoever they are, they are seriously weird. Also, same voice actor as Lara Rich as the guy who does Charlie. Graham Tavish. Oh, he's got to be Victorian, maybe older. Scotsman. All this stuff's been rusting for a century. That's a lot of shit. Apparently, we can get through here. Being on Uncharted 2 so much, he came back for this one. Oh, no 
why we're moving now. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh. Hey, wait. It's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. Like one of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. <laughs> idea. Guess so. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, you suggested it, so. Try only blame yourself. Same problem won't work for me. Is I suggest something and then someone's like, well, it sounds like Wade's got it. Usually I regret it, but then I think about it and go, you know what? Screw it, this will be interesting. There. Oh. That ought to work. this place oh shit get down what the hell are you thinking hey it worked didn't it Yeah, that way is anything. It's probably not, but I just have to try. That nothing in there. God damn it. God great, now he's stuck. There's Marlowe's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. Found the car. <laughs> How bizarre. How bizarre. Oh, it's an old train station. It's such a nice looking one. Why would you ever stop using it? It's like it's buried. It's so funny. Hands up. Oh, I don't know. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't <laughs> move. <coughs> hey, 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 you got us all wrong, man. We're from Cleveland. He's dead, Jim. Well done, mate. a boy. Now, oh, is there any treasure this way? Nope, I'm not going to lie, that's disappointing. What are you doing? Keep the silence up. Steam engines. So one day they were parked here and then never again used. Like it. So where the hell did the car it's come from? Train station or something. Yeah, yeah, 
he's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. Jesus, you'd think there'd be something down here. Considering how old this train station it probably is. Remember playing the Uncharted 3 multiplayer? This is one of my favorite maps. Shh, get back. Take them out quietly. No shit, Sherlock. Nicely done, boys. Come on, they must have gone through here. <coughs> it gets weirder. Oh, this stonework. Whoa. Looks like Tudor, 16th century. What? This place is really starting to give me the creeps. This is sick. In a good way. Up this way. Quietly, Nate. Top, 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 top. Hey, over here. No, 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 seriously. Who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. God. She's years so... Of searching. Unlikable. Finally. Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. But she, and she's got no redeeming qualities at all. She's the classist, psychopathic asshole. Oh, narcissist. There we go, that's the third one. This is quite the operation they got going here. She's probably racist too, but I can't remember if that gets portrayed or not. Ooh, not a nummies. Oh, hold on. Okay, that wasn't anything. Uh, oh, I'm just remembering. There is definitely something. Okay, maybe I'm not remembering that correctly. God, I hope there's no treasures up there. Come on, there's got to be something lying around here, surely.
Oh. Really? A Victorian copper penny. I mean, it's probably worth a bit, but surely not a heap. Maybe an old English gold coin, but silver shilling. What am I even doing? Look at all this stuff. <laughs> Why would hey, you tap the focus. glass of a giant spider? Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, wise ass. It belonged to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? <laughs> Right. Well, it's like 34, 35. <laughs> okay. Here we go. L. O. H. And huh? What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shush. Shush. No shit, long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Would you shut up? It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. What the hell are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting? Well, what makes you think it's even here? Yeah. It's got to be here. Well, it could be a Buckland Abbey for all we know. What? Buckland Abbey, it's a place you <laughs> How old is this journal? On. Well, there's a chair there made from the wood of his ship. Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but... He's had this for 20 years. No. No, it's got to be here. This place is amazing. The things in here must be worth a fortune. Nate, we can't be screwing around like this. They'll be back any minute. Yeah, come on, mate, hurry up. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Oh, it's John the Mummies as well. Like a deer. Head. Oh, there it is. Of course. There it is. I found it. Where? I'm just up kidding. There. I don't know where it was. The figurehead from Drake's ship. I have played these games before, and I've played this one a couple of times. Holy shit, that thing's actually made of gold. Dude, why would you stick that on a ship? You're just asking to be captured by pirates. Oh shit, it's a trap! They're here, take cover! Oh, my God. 
Oh, fancy that. There's a map. <laughs> Why would you open it now? We went to Arabia. Shit. We are finished. Which is why I wanted to pick up the other guns. We're running out of ammo. Grab their weapons. Uh, is that all the ammo? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, maybe it is. Maybe 64 is the max. Okay, so. Now I'm curious if I go back upstairs. There's got to be something here. Yes! Hey, there we go. Gold Sovereign. That's what I was looking for. Okay. I'm assuming that's probably the only one up here. At least until I get with these clothes. Okay. Okay, cool. Is there something else? Come on, come on. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Oh, nope. Just spotted something. Okay. So glad I went back up. Got a gold coin. So even without the historical significance, I figured it, if a gold coin is about ten grams in today's money, the gold alone is worth a thousand dollars. Laser guys. Keep moving forward. Find a way out. All right. Oh, <laughs> I almost threw a grenade, but I don't have any. He's oh, got a assault rifle of some sort. I think that dude was dead on his feet. And his body hadn't figured it out yet. This gun's a previous, like a um, relative to the AK. See, these guns aren't as quick. That's why I prefer the other pistol. Come on! I've got to keep moving! Nathan, this place is crawling with him. 
Oh, they're running away. I was like, oh, did we kill them? How was that? Just and they blocked us off. Come on, stick your head up, idiot. something up here. Ah! Oh. I mean, the problem is with the lasers, it makes it really easy to fi figure out where they are. Isn't this smoke? So, throwing smoke and then using laser sights is kind of counterintuitive. station will clear. Surprising considering all the stuff. shut down is because it's there's a way to get to their base from here Oh no. Just 
lucky there's no brutes. There's no propane this time. Come on, stick your head out, asshole. Side of the mist, and there's the propane. Jesus, that took me way too many tries. Go, go, go. Oh. Come on. Good shooting. says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight I to... I recognize that symbol. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. Well, See this, Mark? This is John D's signature. So I bring me to Horizon album. John D, one of Queen Elizabeth's closest They're inspired by the same thing that this was inspired yeah, yeah, he was by. A great and or, if it came from this game, he's probably the one who by the game. that seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, right? he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol. Or it's with her eyes. the original 007. Given they're talking about the occult. Not really that relevant. So Maybe it's it an occult symbol. Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. I obviously don't Wait, know. What for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia, great film, he was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history, everything to do with knights and the crusades. And he traveled all, oh. all over, documenting every crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely. All right, I'm gonna move to what the, the hell has this got to do with my Graham? camera keeps blocking the TV? That. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubel-Kali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, <coughs> why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found uh -huh. from Her Majesty. Uh -huh. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues, Lawrence only had half. We have both, and Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubel-Kali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian's script. script. <laughs> right. 
Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to <laughs> France. Look, we track down these clues. We find <laughs> Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, no more. How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? <laughs> what the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Jungle's hardly a forest. Not too far. <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru. Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was fifteen, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. <laughs> Damn. There's a little ways to guard. There we go. And check wax your stamp. Stamp's gone. Guns. <laughs> Expecting trouble, are they? Come on, through here. There it is, just like in Lawrence's notes. You gotta have more faith in me, Sully. Of course, I don't remember this ravine being on the map. Uh -oh. I must have just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. I mean, it's good for defense. A small locket. Yeah, it's mini amphitheater. Wolves. Yeah, oh, this is the way we can. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. 
How was I going over there? I c actually can't remember. Hello. This way. Watch your step. Whew. I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? This doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. It's more like renaissance to me. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. <laughs> I want to look for the old part. Ooh. Oh, this looks sketchy. Oy. Look, Sully, your first car. Oh, man. That's a 1927 Auburn. This, Mr. Wizard. Lawn art. Pretty taggy. <laughs> now, the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. Mm. According to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep in the garden. Like Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia. That's where we're going to find him. Stuff, sorry. Good. I'm getting in this way. What a sign! Climb up through that hole. Bet you can. Let me guess. You're gonna sit tight, <coughs> smoke a cigar again. Yeah. All right. Don't burn the place down. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> What's the time? What it's at twelve. Almost tomorrow. Move. What about that window above you? I don't want to cut myself. Plus, I got metal. Is there anything around the corner? Yeah. Hello. sell that quite a lot actually people still use those foot um, driven sewing machines actually know a guy who owns one was the second one <laughs> it just proved my point Here. 
Yeah, yeah. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. Ah, no reaction. Yeah. I don't have any reason to, unfortunately. Okay. Gonna make our I mean, the to probably the fortunately, because I'd imagine they're not cheap. <laughs> Unless you can find one that's like been thrown away or something and then restore it. But I've got no reason to use one. Like, I don't know how to sew and I don't make it. I don't like cosplay or anything, so. I gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up there? You can try. But that'd still be cool. If I needed one, it'd be cool to have. <laughs> Wait, this'll work. Is that British pound? Gotta do it. So that's probably, if that's the case, it's about three Damn grand Australian, which is Damn a lot, Looks to be like honest. chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah. It's a decent gaming PC there. there. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. I mean, if you can afford it, fine, but for me, I'm not spending that money on a sewing machine I'll probably never use. Especially because I don't have the room for it either. You gotta find a way across. Oh, did you, <laughs> did you get it cheap or did you actually like give the owner a reasonable amount? Because I'd imagine some people would know it's expensive and they, you'd give them fuck all money for it. Jesus, did they know what they were selling or did they just not care? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, because if they didn't know, I'd feel bad about under, like, buying. I have an idea. God, you got lucky. Good on ya. Yeah, just needed a bit of dusting. And the good thing is, they probably be so simple that you could probably pull them apart, clean them, and then put them back together again. Crazy. Watch it. That thing's coming out of the ceiling. I feel like even me as a tech person probably might not have too much of a hard time. Although maybe I'm over underestimating. All right, here we go. All right, got it. There, I'm in. Yeah. Be right down. So people go like, "Oh, you used to be able to easily." I used to be able to like easily fix things, and it's like, mate, machine? shit's a lot more complicated nowadays. I hope that's not a popcorn machine. Looks like it's made of wood. Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. Okay, maybe this is, place was a lot more modern than I thought. Because <laughs> some of this stuff is pretty modern. Like, that looks like a tandoori oven from here. I oh, know it's a sink. Jesus Christ, are they sinks? Must be something else. Haven't that many of them? They can't all be sinks. Um, can't go this way. Maybe it's used to like fill cakes, but 
still doesn't feel right. Uh, okay. Looks like crap if I go to the wrong place. The guy I know who owns one of those sewing machines, he used was a blacksmith and he also did a lot of leather he does a lot of leather blah, does a lot of leather working stuff which is pretty cool so he uses it for all that so he makes like bags and hey, belts hey. And... Square ah. Looks pretty old. what the blacksmith part or the yeah. leather part or both that matches the one in Lawrence's notebook that must be it nice thanks Can't say I'm surprised. Well, I'm a little surprised. Not much. What do you mean, too small? Is in like you can't handle the weight of the hammer too much? That's what you get a power hammer for. Or do you like to do it old school? need practice or you just don't like it anyway oh is that from like it bouncing and hitting you in the chest Jesus well, that's not good Are you still trying or are you giving up on the power hammer? Or is it like only for certain things now? Looks like we can get through here. Yeah? Yep. Watch it! Oh, thanks. Cool. That's good. Eventually you'll stop doing that. I mean, it's not possible to never injure yourself by accident, but like at least it'll become less and less common. Hey, hey. Isn't this the same symbol that was on the tower? Yeah. That's got to mean something, right? Maybe yeah. a secret passage in a fireplace? Kind of on the nose. Yeah, I'd imagine anything small you yeah, just do it by hand. Check out these suits of armor. Wait, Lawrence made a note about something like this. Yeah, here, see? Four knights, with an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Just like the ones in this room. Hold on. Okay. So the shield points to the axe. Maybe we got a turn each night, so it's facing the right way. Oh, do you... Yeah, but what's the right way? Do you do metal 3D printing? Or like a CNC machine? Or, um... Yeah. Oh, okay. What do you use for the metal one? Because I'm wondering if I can get a different print head for my Ender to print metal. Or if I need to get a different printer altogether. Uh, axe points to shield. Oh, okay, so you don't have a 3D printer printer then. Must be some kind of trick to it. Pattern. I'm guessing you probably get a laser as well. Okay, so shield points to axe, axe points to shield. Right. Uh, mace points to shield. Yeah, and I'm guessing this is all at a place you don't have this all in your backyard or anything like that. Well, well. 
A secret passage. All right. Gotta hand it to you, Sully. Seems to be stuck. Okay. I'll push, you pull. On three, ready? Wait. One, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull? Just pull. Got it. It's funny, I've got a mate whose mate is a blacksmith, and he's actually got an iron deposit on his property, so he, like, has his own forge, and he just goes and gets the iron for himself. Yeah. Yeah, I'll live. Straight out of the ground. Which is pretty sick. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. You got it. You be careful down there. Right. Hope there is another side. Oh, I love that. I really like that. Lucky you. What the hell is that noise? If you can't tell, I am a little jealous. But... I do stuff with computers and 3D printers, so we get through here. everyone has their own thing. I'd like to do everything, but there's only so much time in the world. And also so much money. <laughs> God, that'd be my nightmare. Probably my ultimate thing would be a Tony Stark thing would be like I'd machine my own parts for devices and then code them myself kind of thing. But obviously that's a lot of time and money and I've got other hobbies as well. Oh thank god. Way out. Alright, I should be able to climb up through there. Piece of cake. Oh, kidding me. They're here somewhere. Hunt them down. Yeah. It's more just like <laughs> the metalworking stuff. I mean, I can do it with plastic and 3D printing, but it'd be cool to also be able to do like blacksmithing and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Try to see if I can knock out a second guy. This gun's a lot different this gun than it was last time.
flashbacks. Just thinking about what's ahead. Right. Jesus, they brought a small army with them. <laughs> nice. The difference is you're doing it as a, like a career, but I'm a programmer by career, and I don't know if I could do anything else. Like, there's obviously the easiest thing with streaming I could do, but I'm not sure I could do that full time because I'd miss programming too much. Yeah, my modeling skill's not great though. Need to spend a lot of practice on it. I gotta get to that tower and warn Sully. I mean, it's okay, but it could be a lot better. Like, I want to get better oh, at sculpting. Gift, boys. Ah. Come on, give me those two nades. Locked. I have to find another way in. Yeah. Hey. Mm. Pleasure. Yeah. I know. I'm one of those guys that like. I'm one of those people that want to try all the things. Come in handy. Also one of those people, like, if they didn't have to sleep and they could just take a pill instead of sleeping, they would. Because then they would just do different stuff. Almost hit Sully just then. Shit.
Got him. Jesus. funny because my dad almost took an apprenticeship at Crow Castle, so it would have been a blacksmith's son in another life. Can't remember why he didn't get it in the end. Oh that's right, he missed out because someone took it before he could. Oh sorry, for reference Crow Castle is like a, it's like a replica castle in Victoria. And so they do like tourneys and events and stuff to like teach and teach people about medieval history. It's a little corny, but it's pretty cool. Someone who doesn't do it. Shit, I threw it right into a wall. Like Marlo brought a goddamn army. Dang it. Jesus, Sully. Scare the shit out of me. it at least for the time being no, I want to keep that one Up this way. Come on, Sully, give me some help with this door. Just myself, I got all of it. I 
thought that was it for the ammo there. Alright. Well, which way now? I'm not really sure. Hey, okay, before I go down. further, I'm just gonna double check that I didn't miss any treasure. I don't doubt it. It's not quite treasure, but it's pretty good. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm back up here. Okay, I definitely didn't miss anything. Should have got there. Okay. Go down, I can't get back up. So let's see what's up here. Hello. That's oh, a teapot. Nice. Didn't mean to drop that hard. This. The hell? Looks like he's been hell? dead for ages. It's one of Talbot's men. Was? But that's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? I have no idea, but I sure as hell don't like it. Hmm, I wonder. Pretending I don't already know. <clears throat> Ah, it's this Besides, it's a being script. <laughs> I'll stand over here so I don't step on any by accident. Good idea. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna remember this off my heart. Did Lawrence make any notes about this? Let me check. Smoke a cigar. I'm doing my best, Sully. 
I almost got it from memory. Oh shit. Although, okay, so for the people who are watching and feel like, what the hell did I just do? There you go. So it's saying you got to do the four. You got to figure out the order, but it's saying do the four arches, three X's, the weird looking Y, upside down Y's, X's, arches again. But it's you gotta dark in here. figure out the order. Give it, some light? They don't sure. tell that. But just they don't give that to you. You gotta figure it out Ooh. on yourself. I mean, figure that out on your own. Hey, a little more light, Sully. You got it. It's, it's an alchemy lab. Alchemy. Hmm. Alchemy. Seems alchemy. to be an alchemist lab. Hey, hey. Wait a second. Does this place remind you of anything? Yeah. Marlowe's creepy hideout, now that you mention it. Sully. Sully, this is John Dee's lab. All the way out here? In France? Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades, just like Lawrence did. Hey, look at this. It's gotta be a hidden tunnel under this, I think. It's being script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a Nokian script. Think you can decipher it? I'll try. The altar guards the entrance to the underworld. Huh. Well, he did use magic to conjure spirits. Or the altar could be hiding a secret passage. Oh. <laughs> right. Help me push. It's like you're pulling or pushing. <laughs> well, would you look at that. Crafty old bastard. Why, thank you. Not you. John D. Oh. Well, you're How the hell did he... Hello. Where is that on his own, though? Is this some sort of mechanism or something? Oh, here we go. Sully, give me a light. Yeah. Ah, much better. You know, one of these days you're really gonna have to start carrying your own matches. What are you talking about? Just us that way. Nothing here. Nothing here. Whoa. Looks like they really wanted to keep something out. We're in. Yeah, give me a hand with this. Yeah. I got it. There you go. It's a very heavy door. Family crypt. Carl Godfrey must be down here then, huh? With any luck. If he knew anything about the Atlantis of the Sands, he took it with him to the grave. So let's find the grave. Exactly. Let's see. It looks like he was trying to solve this, but he never quite finished. Okay, so the eagle is... It's the eight. Uh, the nine character, and then the, the weird cross thing. What is this? Medieval game show? Pretty elaborate. Yeah. Anything? It doesn't seem to be in any of these crypts. No. Now they would have hidden his tomb. Keep looking around. Okay.
right. Okay, so that was already that was on. I just did. Okay, so weird wives singamajig. Weird wives singamajig. Pokemon begin thing and then the money sign is sort of below. Wait, which animal was that? Fine. Wait, that was it. Two of those are why things. Okay. Yeah, uh, that one I can't tell. Okay, so this has got present top trident on the right or the left, an eight, and the Pokemon. Actually. That was the missing one. Okay, so what's this? I can't tell. Damn it. So it's the eagle, the lion. Which means the one that we're missing is the ball. Okay. Ah, uh, goddammit, I can't remember what it was now. There we go. Charlie is near a crescent. Good job. Hmm. Looks inviting. Watch yourself. <laughs> Lord Godfrey, I presume? The one and only. This is it. Here, hold this, will you? Sure. <clears throat> Look, it's some sort of amulet. There's something written here. <laughs> oh. Gonna do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh-huh. It's in Sabine's script. That'd well, be from ancient Yemen, all right? Yeah, exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Could be the name of a city? Yeah, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. I wouldn't recommend that. Shit. <laughs> nice work, gentlemen. Harris, please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris. Come get it. <laughs> now it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Come on, Nate. I'll stop for it. What is that? Oh my god. What the hell? 
Stay in the light. Get it. Quickly. Get him off me! Get him off me! Get him off me! Your torch seems to be dying out. Good luck with that. God, what a dick. Right? We gotta find a way out of here fast. Stay close. The torch is going out now. We gotta find a way out of here. Wait, up there. Spiders are pretty fast. Jesus, they're like a bloody swarm. Let's not go back in there. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> no, we're not going that way. Whichever way we go, just promise me there's no more <clears throat> goddamn spiders. Okay. We gotta find a way out of here. Okay. I am gonna leave it there for tonight. <sighs> if you're watching this on YouTube and you like the stream, please like and subscribe. Maybe consider coming and checking out the Twitch channel and give me a follow. Um, and if you're watching this on Twitch and you liked the VOD, please consider also giving me a follow. And maybe even checking out the, subs uh, the Twitch channel in case you missed the stream. But yeah, so I should be back on tomorrow, and I might do some mini painting very soon. I'm not sure about tomorrow, though. But yeah, till next time, see you later.